Tonight's skyrocketing sales. Home buying is through the roof. What role the pandemic is playing on the booming market. And production during a pandemic. How a small team of inspectors is working to make sure local miners stay safe and healthy on the job. Plus, making changes as the DNC draws closer. Look at all the adjustments made to create a safe environment during the pandemic. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. Home sales are on the rise. According to the National Association of Realtors, home sales were up 21% in June compared to May. That might seem odd given the ongoing pandemic, but as CBS 3's John Cardinelli finds out, the pandemic is actually playing a role in the increase. Alyssa Denham has lived in her home in Superior for five years. We just outgrew it. But with her children getting older, they needed a bigger space, so she put her home up for sale. Kind of hearsay around town. We heard that it was just an excellent market to sell a house in. Denham's house has been on the market a week. We had an offer within 24 hours of listing. That offer, more than the asking price of the home. Doug Command, president of Lake Superior Realtors, says this comes as no surprise. So in Minnesota, the home sales are up 8.7% right now. And in Wisconsin, they're up 3%. The pandemic playing a role in the surge of buyers. Well, the Federal Reserve has cut the interest rates between banks to 0%. So um, that's helped their ability to have interest rates for the real estate industry be low. Creating a competitive real estate market in a seemingly rough time. With that low inventory, buyers are struggling to find homes that they're really looking for and fighting over the ones that are out there. So it's good news for the sellers. Um, the low interest rates are good news for the buyers. And good news for people like Denim, who are excited to move into something bigger. We need more space, more... More yard, more bathrooms. <laughs> Command says the market has been trending this way for years and expects it to continue to be favorable for sellers. Dave's here for a first look at the weather tonight. Dave, a pretty mild night out there for us. Mild night, and of course, as we've been crowing about all day long, yes. less humid mm -hmm. because the dew point is okay. down. Over the weekend, when it was so oppressive, those dew points were near 70, a sign of a lot of moisture in the air. Yeah, and tonight we're going about 55 to 60, so humidity is still noticeable, but it's not the kind of humidity that's going to really get you down. And these numbers could go down a little bit more as the week goes on, making it feel even drier out there. And it should be dry as high pressure takes over the region. The showers that popped up in some locations earlier in the day do seem to be gone now. And that high pressure cell will bring us sunshine probably through Friday. Next rain chance may not come until Saturday. So that gives us the Wednesday day planner that says we're going to get a clear to partly cloudy sky all day long. Start our temps in the 50s in the morning, finish in the upper 70s, roughly a range of 75 to 80, which brackets normal by about 2 degrees on each side. So we've gone from being near 90 with dew points around 70 to about 78 with dew points 55. Translating all of that into plain English means it's more comfortable. And I'll talk about how long it'll stay comfortable with the 7-day forecast coming up in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. The 2019 Mine Inspectors Report, released this spring, predicted a positive outlook for 2020. That quickly changed once the COVID-19 pandemic hit. While the steel industry is on the road to recovery after a tough few, tough few months, there's still a big hill to climb, including keeping workers safe and keeping COVID-19 out of local mines. In this week's Eye on Mining, we're hearing from one St. Louis County Mine Inspector on how his role is changing in the midst of a pandemic. With a roster of more than 4,000 people to watch out for, mine inspectors play an important role in the local iron mining industry. Our ultimate goal is to ensure the safety and health of the miners. That's Derek Harbin. He is one of three people tasked with that job. Uh, we're currently inspecting um, six mining facilities, um, seven if you include uh, mining resources, which is also inactive at the moment. On top of that, mine inspectors also conduct accident investigations and inspect abandoned mining sites. But once the COVID-19 pandemic hit, they were forced to adjust their workflow. Well, the most challenging part is just uh, how, how it's changing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a real concern. Everybody's um, concerned about it. And, you know, our job is to, 
help the mining companies, help our union miners, everyone on a mine site be safe. So we're trying to, you know, do our research, help in any way that we can to ensure their safety. It's Harbin says a big part of that comes down to communication. The mining companies, the union members, and then the inspectors have been working collaboratively to ensure that we're doing the best that we possibly can in these difficult times to ensure the safety and health of the miners with this going on. While the mine inspector's office won't be putting together data for 2020, 20 until year's end, Harbin anticipates some big differences in comparison to the year before. With a few of the facilities shutting down, we're going to see man hours drop, we're going to see production numbers drop, and um, number of employed is kind of what we're anticipating. Despite those obstacles, pellet production is picking back up and people are heading back to work. For Harbin, that's a bright spot in what has been a dark time. I'm just taking it day by day and listening to what the experts are saying and following the recommendations and just trying to do the right thing. The 2020 Mine Inspectors Report won't be out until early next year. If you'd like to take a look at the most recent report for yourself, we have a link on our website. Hundreds came out for free COVID testing in Chisholm today. As of Tuesday afternoon, more than 1,300 St. Louis County residents were pre-registered for a free drive through coronavirus test at the Minnesota Discovery Center. State Representative Julie Sandstead put on the event with St. Louis County and the state after concerns of coronavirus spreading throughout the mines of the Iron Range. She hopes the testing site will help the county learn more about community transmission of the virus. And just access to testing has been very, very problematic. So this is really a great opportunity for everybody, for workers or the elderly or the young, just to see really how things are behaving up here. The testing site will be open again tomorrow from 10 to 5. 332 people have tested positive for the virus in the county since the pandemic began. And a reminder that there's free COVID-19 testing in Douglas County this week as well. You can stop by the Superior Middle School between 2 and 8 on Wednesday or from 9 to 5 Thursday at the Solon Springs Community Center. Meanwhile, a potential mask mandate for Ashland won't be decided on until next week. At their council meeting tonight, members passed a resolution supporting an advisory issued by Ashland County. It requires people to wear masks in public buildings and limits the size of gatherings. The council is also asking the county to issue a mask mandate. City Council President Kevin Haas said the council will take up the issue of a mask mandate for the city next week. The number of new COVID-19 cases reporting per day in Michigan has nearly doubled since the beginning of July. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer said the virus is still very real and people cannot let up on protecting themselves. The governor also called on the federal government to lend a hand to local and state governments as the pandemic continues. A federal mask mandate would be a great start. But we also need a strong recovery plan from the federal government to help our small businesses, our owners, the first responders, our state government, our local government, so that we can all recover from this. As of yesterday, the state reported nearly 500 new cases and five new COVID-19 related deaths. That brings the statewide totals to more than 78,500 cases and more than 6,000 deaths. We're just three weeks away from the 2020 Democratic National Convention. Despite scaling it back this year, organizers are taking extra precautions to keep people safe. CBS's Saron Bagenda has more on those changes ahead of the event. The DNC committee says after consulting with public health officials, they've come up with a robust list of health procedures. DNC attendees must wear a mask, agree to daily COVID-19 testing, and fill out a daily questionnaire that they're not experiencing symptoms. Visit Milwaukee CEO says she's not surprised. Many of our hotels and our hospitality partners are doing some of those same things to make sure that people who come into contact in those locations are also safe. Milwaukee Bucks senior VP Alex Lazary also on the same boat. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're strict. I think they're necessary. Um, and this is how you're going to make sure that everyone involved is, is protected. Attendees traveling from outside of Milwaukee are encouraged to get tested before heading to the city and self-isolate for a minimum of 72 hours before traveling. People in Milwaukee are also encouraged to self-isolate. Now I'm proud that the DNC has put these measures forward and um, I think they're being responsible. Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett calls the health protocols thoughtful and thorough. He says in part, these protocols establish reasonable requirements in order to prevent additional COVID-19 infections in Milwaukee. 
all the research that we're seeing tells us that tourists feel much safer in a place where the local people are wearing masks. The Milwaukee 2020 host committee says plans are still being finalized. They say in part, we will continue to follow the guidance of public health officials and experts as convention plans are finalized over the next three weeks. We'll always be able to say that we hosted the most unique and historic convention in addition to the health protocols, the DNCC says their team has spent several months building up enough supply of PPE and tests so the event won't impact the medical supply chain. Sticking with politics, a former Virginia City Councilor has been tapped to become the Minnesota political director for the Joe Biden campaign. Nevada Little Wolf served on the council for 10 years before wrapping up her time in office in 2018. The UMD graduate recently served as a political director for the organization Women Winning. Little Wolf was among several Biden campaign staffers in Minnesota announced this month. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, calling it a career. A titan in Duluth's education system is hanging it up. Coming up, a look back at her three-decade tenure. 97 is the record high for this date from 2006. Here in 2020, well, we finally cooled down. We'll talk about our temperature trends for the week ahead and any precip chances coming our way right after the break. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Beyond the Greasewood Forest is a magic window. One you can drive up to and get a warm, flavorful Arby's Market Fresh Wrap. And with it, a fresh outlook on window meals. Arby's, we have the meat. Save big money in your next project with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. All Delta faucets are 11% off. This liquid two-handle bathroom faucet with a spot shield brush nickel finish is just $86.99 after 11% off. Protect your home with little giant sump pumps. This select series half-horse cast iron submersible pump moves up to 4,300 gallons an hour. $142.39 after 11% off. Stop waiting and start saving with 11% off everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Hello, I'm Steve Little, owner of Bath Planet. We are excited about the reopening of our economy, so in celebration, I'm extending our special financing offer until the end of July. Right now, we are offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments for two years, so you can get the work done now and not have to pay for it until 2022. This offer ends July 31st, so call us today or go online to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. It's the Jeep Summer Clearance Event at Duluth Dodge. Lease a new Cherokee Trailhawk for only $255 a month. Wow, $255 a month? Only at the new Duluth Dodge, 4755 New Trunk Highway, or DuluthDodgeMinnesota.com. If 2020 teaches us anything, it's that public schools and educators stand for an important truth that we're more alike than different, that we're stronger together. And that no matter what we look like or where we come from, our dreams deserve a chance. Believe in we, Minnesota, electing lawmakers who will protect, not cut, this essential resource. I'm meteorologist Dave Anderson with this 2.40 in the morning update on the weather. And it's been a bit rough in Wisconsin. Down, it gets super dark. Oh, that crazy light. Have a severe thunderstorm warning. For the coverage you need, tune to live local CBS 3. Join us Wednesday night as we go live from Target Field. We'll bring you all the coverage of the Twins Home Opener Series. It's all happening Wednesday at 5, 6, and 10 on live local CBS 3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. All right, let's talk about high temperatures today. Of course, over the weekend, some towns are getting close to 90. And like we mentioned with Tony, the dew points were high. It was oppressively humid and big storms rumbled through Wisconsin. Things have gone the other direction. All that that low has gone, a high has come. Temperatures are still summery, but much cooler. We're looking at a range today of highs from about 75 to 81 in Minnesota. A couple of exceptions on both counts there. And a little bit warmer than that in Wisconsin. But again, with the dew points down, it felt great and should feel great probably through Friday. Next rain chance, that's coming around on Saturday. Right now at the airport, we have 67 degrees to report, 66% for the relative humidity. 
North northwest wind, it's going five miles per hour, and our air pressure holding steady around 1,011 millibars. Eyeing up the current regional temperatures, we have low to mid 60s in the Upper Peninsula, 64 for Ironwood and probably Besmer and Wakefield as well, and across the border into early. 63 Ashland, 64 for Hayward and Solon Springs, 61 is the current temp in Superior, and we're looking at uh, upper 50s to upper 60s here along the north shore. In fact, you can find that range from up the Gunflint down to the lakeside. 61 Ely, 50s starting the middle part of the Mesabi range. But when you get to the end, Grand Rapids, still 64, 59 right now, International Falls. Now, what we're getting at here is low temps tonight likely will be in the 50s for most towns. Getting a look now at the Doppler map, higher pressure settling in, one system first. A second one coming in to back it up means the sky is on the clear side for just about everybody. Even in the UP where we had a couple of showers a couple of hours ago, they're passing away. Same deal for the Minnesota Arrowhead. The high pressure is really flexing its muscles here, which means we're going to have fairly sunny conditions from now until Friday. Of course, discounting nighttime. It's not sunny right now, but you know what I mean. During the daylight hours, it should be sunny. And then finally, by Saturday, Low pressure system eases its way towards us and it brings on Saturday a 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms, which probably won't add up to much precipitation this time around. Of course, if that plan changes, I'll let you know with each night's seven day forecast. Here's tonight's Minnesota low temps 50 inland to 57 by the lake, partly cloudy sky from the high and folks in Wisconsin and Michigan get those sky conditions too with lows there 53 to 55. And taking a look at tomorrow, about 75 to 80 for the top temps for the UP and for northwestern Wisconsin. Partly cloudy sky again. North wind 5 to 10. Minnesota highs, low 70s by the lake, 75 to 80 inland, which is a trend that should repeat itself through Friday. Though Friday may start to warm up a little bit, back into the 80s for a lot of towns, but likely lower 80s. Then there's that rain chance on Saturday, Kristen and Tony. After that... That is about all that has been written about the subject because then it will dry up again Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Looks nice. Thanks, Dave. After more than 35 years of service to Duluth schools, a very special person in the Denfeld High School community is retiring. Yeah, Claudia Anderson served as a secretary to the principal there for 21 years. Before that, she filled the same position at Lowell Elementary for 15 years. Her passion for Denfeld High began when she was a student there, class of 1970. Anderson says once you get to Denfeld High, you don't want to leave. It's the kids. They are awesome. Denfeld, there's no, nobody like Denfeld kids. They're just super. And I do have a good staff. The staff is really special here, too. Anderson says she misses the students who finished the semester at home because of the pandemic. Denfeld staff and Anderson's grandkids showered her with gifts on her last day at work today. Denfeld art teachers even painted a portrait of her to show their appreciation. Denfeld High School's principal says it's her focus on the kids that makes Anderson stand out. The fact that she kind of became a pseudo another parent or grandparent to many of our kids because of the way she developed relationships with them over time. Anderson plans to spend her newfound free time painting, doing puzzles, and being with her grandchildren. Congratulations on your retirement. With Minnesota schools still waiting on a fall approach plan, the Carleton School District has welcomed in their new interim superintendent. John Engstrom recently introduced himself on a Facebook post, saying a team of dedicated teachers and staff have been meeting to navigate COVID-19. Engstrom replaces Gwen Carmen, who left in June after taking another job in southeastern Minnesota. With the fall fast approaching, the district is gathering information from other area school districts, working together and learning from each other to provide the best educational experience for students. Minnesota leaders are expected to announce their official plans for fall schooling across the state on Thursday. An anonymous donor gave $2 million to the University of Wisconsin system to strengthen online learning this semester. UW System Interim President Tommy Thompson announced the gift this week. The system plans to use the money to train faculty and staff in online teaching and equip students with laptops, tablets, and hotspots. The UW System plans to reopen this fall with a mix of in-person classes and online courses.
Still to come on Live Local CBS3, Barr testifies. The AG takes the hot seat in D.C. What he had to say about the deployment of federal officers to control protesters. CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. The TED event is happening now where you're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. On the south shore of the greatest of the Great Lakes, Mother Nature's artistry is on full display in the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. The best way to see it is on board Apostle Islands Cruises, located in the quaint city of Bayfield, Wisconsin. Visit our website at ApostleIsland.com. Apostle Islands Cruises, the best way to visit the Apostle Islands. Hi, I'm Stephen Ray. At Miners National Bank, we offer local originating, local processing, local closing, and local servicing. For your next mortgage, apply now. MinersMortgage.com. Miners National Bank of Eveleth, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Shopping for a new kitchen at Skips has never been better. Take home your dream kitchen today with Skips' new Glenwood and White cabinets. Enjoy freedom and flexibility with your own movable island today. You can rely on Skips for quality and durability at affordable prices. Stop by with your measurements and see how you can take home beautifully painted or stained cabinets today at a truly affordable price. Visit us online at skipshomecenter.com or stop in to see our showroom at 4728 Rice Lake Road, Duluth. Here at Cook Hospital, we are open for both emergency and elective patients. With our rigorous cleaning measures, we've created a safe space for our patients to seek care and feel at ease during their visits. Call us today to set up an appointment or visit us online at cookhospital.org. Helping to make memories for generations. Numi Jewelers. Storm damage happens, and when it does, turn to Peak Construction Roofing, the Northland storm damage experts. Peak simplifies the process for you every step of the way. We offer insurance claims assistance and free storm damage inspections. Call Peak Construction Roofing today and let us take care of you. The show critics are praising as genius is now the Emmy winner for Outstanding Talk Show Host. What? And the stars love it, too. Here so good. The Kelly Clarkson Show, weekdays at 3 on Live Local CBS3. Meteorologist Dave Anderson with this 2.40 in the morning update on the weather. And it's been a bit rough in Wisconsin. Down, it gets super dark. Oh, that crazy light. Have a severe thunderstorm warning. For the coverage you need, tune to Live Local CBS3. Hi, I'm Dr. Charity Reynolds. I would like to remind you that COVID-19 is still around. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay home as much as possible. Thank you. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS3. Attorney General William Barr spent several hours on the hot seat in front of the House Judiciary Committee. The hearing, fe hearing featured plenty of partisan attacks with both sides echoing the talking points from the two presidential campaigns. During the testimony, Barr delivered a full-throated defense of federal officers' response to protesters in Portland. In his testimony, Barr defended police departments, saying, quote, I don't agree that there's systemic racism in police departments generally in the country, end quote. Meanwhile, Democrats accuse Barr of using federal officers to help the president look tough on crime. President Trump has made law and order a central part of his re-election campaign, and Attorney General Barr and House Republicans defended the president's policies and talking points. Coming up in sports, twins opening things up at Target Field. Kelly Hinseth is in with the highlights next. Eye on Mining is brought to you by Iron Mining Association, Range Regional Airport, and Miners National Bank of Eveleth. Imagine building your Range Regional Airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. At Super One Foods, You'll find more than just low prices and better choices. You'll find friendly faces like ours, working hard to save you money. 
Super One has a tireless commitment to quality and freshness and a goal of delivering five-star service to every customer to bring the absolute best value to your shopping experience. Check out these specials available at all Super One locations going on now. So stop into the Super One Foods right in your neighborhood. Super One Foods, serving you low prices and better choices. This thing is really dusty. I'm Eric Simonson and I approve this message. As a husband and a father, as a neighbor and a firefighter, and as your proud state senator, I'm asking for your support in the DFL primary election in August. The pandemic and recent tragic events have been challenging all of us. In the Senate, I'm working to make sure this recovery prioritizes the health, safety, and economic security of working families. I'm fighting for justice and equality for our communities of color, and I'm working to make sure quality health care and housing is affordable for everyone. Hello, I'm Steve Little, owner of Bath Planet. We are excited about the reopening of our economy, so in celebration, I'm extending our special financing offer until the end of July. Right now, we are offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments for two years, so you can get the work done now and not have to pay for it until 2022. This offer ends July 31st, so call us today or go online to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. From environmental issues to economics and so much more. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Ion Mining. A fair and unbiased report that answers the tough questions surrounding the world of mining. Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke. Tuesdays at 10 only on live local CBS3. Brought to you by Iron Mining Association. Imagine building your range regional airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. Tonight, it's showing up as amazing. The baseball was finally brought to Target Field tonight. The Twins welcomed in the St. Louis Cardinals for their home opener. Homer Bailey, the home opening day pitcher, for the Minnesota Twins. Bottom of the second, two on for Byron Buxton, who hits it to short. Easy out? Nah. He reaches first on a fielder's choice, but luckily Luis Arise slides into home plate, beating the throw, no problem. Twins jump out front, one to nothing. Later in the inning, Twins up three nothing. Jorge Polanco blasts the offering over the right field wall for a two run home run. Gives the Twins an early five nil lead. Polanco's first of the season. Jumping to the bottom of the fourth, the bringer of rain is what we're calling him. Josh Donaldson crushes the pitch over the right center field wall for the solo shot. The new acquisition for the Twins makes it 6 nothing. Cards get a few, but it's no use. Twins win this one 6-3, to three, the final. Yesterday, it took 11 innings for the Brewers to defeat the Pirates. Game two tonight. Top of six, one out and one on for Keston Hura. He takes this one to center. A two-run homer over the 4-10 marker in the triangle. Going to spoil any chance of a Derek Hall and shutout at that point. Here is two-run shot, ties it up at two apiece to the 7-3-2 Brewers now. Base is loaded. Nobody out for Orlando Arcia. He smokes one high off the wall in right center, missing a grand slam by a foot or so. Two-run score. It's 5-2 Brewers, but change of pace. Pirates come back 8-2-6. They win the final score. Now, prior to today's game, Brewers left fielder Brian Braun was asked about the potential that he would opt out of this season due to a COVID outbreak in the MLB just a few days into the season. It was reported yesterday that 14 players and staff members for the Miami Marlins tested positive for the virus. Their games for the foreseeable future have been postponed. Braun answered the question saying that he is taking it personally, things on a day-to-day -day basis. 
It's disturbing. It's upsetting. I think that, you know, it's just a reminder of, of just how precarious the situation is that we're in. There's real fear. There's real anxiety for me, for all my teammates. I think we've found it very difficult to focus on baseball at all the last couple of days. I know for me personally, I, I don't feel comfortable with where we're at. At the same time, I think we're grateful we've even been able to play as many games as we have. But it is a, a reminder of just how precarious the situation is that we're in. Now, switching to football, while Dalvin Cook was among the first of the Vikings players to report to NFL camp today, the team's newest acquisition at Noseguard has chosen to opt out. Defensive lineman Michael Pierce has chosen to forego the 2020 season with the Vikes. The 27-year-old suffers from asthma and told the Pioneer Press that he'd be in some real trouble if he got the virus. The Vikings signed Pierce to a three-year, $27 million deal this past March and was expected to be Linval Joseph's replacement. To the pitch, Minnesota United continues play in the MLS is back bubble tournament down in Orlando, Florida, taking on Columbus in the first knockout run of the tourney. 18th minute in is when we'll start Loons with a corner. Jay Gregoosh sends it in, pinballs its way around until Robin Lodge strikes one down into the back of the net. Minnesota strikes first. They lead one nothing. It stays that way until late into the second half. When Jose Aya commits a late foul in the box, giving Columbus the chance they desperately needed. Guys, Yardis on the mark. Tyler Miller makes a great save once, but twice was just too much to ask. We're all tied up in the 79th minute. No added time at this tournament. Straight to a shootout to find a winner. And Tyler Miller Cubs up huge in the third round. Denies Chris Caden. So all Chase Gasper has to do is find the net to put Minnesota through. And he does just that. United wins on the PK to stay alive in the tournament. That's going to do for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS 3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. America, we want to help get you back to it. And here's how. With the Ford Promise. Visit your Ford dealer. Finance a new, certified, pre-owned, or used vehicle through Ford Credit. And if you lose your job, you can return it for up to one year from the day you bought it. You can also get great deals across the Ford lineup. Let us help get you back to it with the Ford Promise. For a limited time, get 6000 total cash on an F-150. Visit your local Northland Ford dealer today. Here at Memorial Medical Center, we really care about treating the patient as a whole. Instead of looking at the patient as a hip or as a knee, we look at how their hip or the knee affects their life. I'm Joe Signorelli, orthopedic surgeon, and uh, I've been doing joint replacement surgery for seven years. It's really important for a patient to be comfortable where they're receiving their care. And so if we can provide uh, high quality care at an affordable cost in their home community, I think that's uh, advantageous for the patient. I think they really appreciate it. Mondelez Casino wants to celebrate your birthday with you all month long. Every day during your birthday month, you can receive up to $30 in club cash as a special birthday bonus. Did you say every day? Yes, every day of your birthday month. Stop by the Players Club or log on to MondelezCasino.com for all the participation details. We're celebrating your birthday all month long, so you can have a great time out at Mondelez. To all our Mediacom customers, Thank you. We just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for trusting us to keep your family connected. We'll do whatever it takes. Yep, we got you. Thank you so much for being patient and your support. You all are the reason that we do what we do, and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you. We appreciate you, and please stay safe. Thank you for being a part of our Mediacom family. You're the best. Thank you. I set you free. I told you you could. Helping to make memories for generations. Numi Jewelers. With severe weather hits. Two to CBS 3. Tonight at 10, we'll be out here in the storm. For up-to-date coverage, morning and night. Oh, stay away from here. Um... Live local weather coverage on CBS 3 Duluth. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Man. Mainstream is your wedding headquarters. Downtown Duluth. 
Why do we keep doing these stories? They're weird and they're <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I don't think this one's as creepy. Okay, all right. Well, here we go. A partnership between a legendary automaker and a cutting-edge robot maker yields a new job for a doggone good boy. Yeah, and this is for some of our friends in Michigan. Tech jobs are going to the dogs, robot dogs, that is. A Ford auto plant in Michigan is using a robotic dog to digitally map their facility. It's part of a tech partnership with think tank Boston Dynamics. Fluffy uses lasers to scan the plant's layout, creating digital blueprints. The data will help engineers retool the plant for future products. They say it will save time and money and allow new vehicles to be produced sooner. Ford predicts robots like Fluffy could significantly change the engineering community. Be significantly creepy, too. Dave, <laughs> pretty nice day on tap for tomorrow, huh? Yeah, and the weather bots tell us it will be the same again tomorrow, <laughs> followed by a rain chance by Saturday. And then after that, back towards sunshine. Temperatures, 70s for highs, 50s for lows. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow night.